Two years ago, life as we knew it was shattered. For the past two years, we readjust our definition of normal. We've experienced the worst moments in modern civilization. We've witnessed the best of people and humanity. And all that we've gone through together. COVID-19 has taken more than 5 million lives worldwide. Global growth was declining sharply during the pandemic, worse than any previous crisis. Millions lost their jobs and closed their businesses. Everyone was impacted. Nevertheless, strict health protocols along with the new COVID-19 vaccines has renewed our hope. Now, more than 7 billion people around the globe are already vaccinated, including children. While not remotely enough, this number is a start. Slowly but surely, the world economy is recovering. Countries open their borders, businesses are revived, and kids are elated to go back to school. The G20 has played major roles in the recovery, bringing forth initiatives such as the Debt Service Suspension Initiative, liquidity injection of more than 5 trillion US dollars to fight the destructive effects of the pandemic, reducing and erasing tax and tariff on vaccines, hand sanitizers, medical equipment, and drugs, investment reforms, and the launch of Joint Finance Health Task Force to respond to future pandemics. Despite these progress, the world recovery remains uneven, with countries emerging from the crisis facing different challenges. Recover together, recover stronger is the theme of the current G20 presidency held by Indonesia. Indonesia's presidency is committed to ensure that coming back from the pandemic crisis, nobody gets left behind. In the finance track, six main agendas are set and will be strongly promoted during Indonesia's presidency. Exit strategy to support recovery, addressing scarring effect to secure future growth, payment system in the digital era, sustainable finance, digital financial inclusion, and international taxation. And all of that starts here. On the first finance and central bank deputies meeting, we need to work hand in hand, shaping a post-pandemic recovery that benefits all. And what better way to start than to welcome you back to Bali. It is both our dues and objective to make sure that Bali and other places in the world like Bali return to its pre-pandemic glory. That people are given the opportunity to live a decent life, to turn the world economy back to its upward track, and to do it all together. Recover together, recover stronger.